Welcome back to Sentry Army. Our aim is to head to the Great Bridge to battle the first boss. Feel free to summon Father Gascoigne or even other hunters with the beckoning bell if you're playing online and have the insight to spare. The best strategy I found for myself was to bait him into his three combo attack by moving in and out of his attack radius until at last he slams both his fists on the floor. Safely counter him then. As you enter the arena, he'll jump out from behind the wall. This is the perfect opportunity to launch a ranged attack of your preference. A good strike to the face with your firearm is likely to stagger him, leaving him open for a visceral attack. Although performing this immediately seems to enrage him for the rest of the battle, so I suggest using this time to throw an oil urn or a Molotov cocktail. Entering the boss arena will award you with one insight, whilst defeating him will award you with a further three insight, along with the Sword Hunter badge. Welcome back to the Hunter's Dream. We now have the Sword Hunter badge in our possession. It reads. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church, the Silver Sword is a symbol of a church hunter. Ludwig was the first of many Healing Church hunters to come, many of whom were clerics. As it was, clerics transformed into the most hideous beasts. It allows us to purchase the following items. Antidote. Small medicinal tablets that counter-react poison, used to treat ashen blood, the baffling sickness that ravaged all the Arnhem long ago. These tablets only provide short-term relief. The ashen blood ailment eventually triggered the spread of the beastly scourge. Hand Lantern, small portable lantern. This hunting accessory provides light while leaving both hands free to hold weapons. The torch, however, provides a stronger source of light. Hunter Chief Emblem, a cloth emblem that belonged to the captain of the church hunters long ago, opens the main gate that leads to the round plaza of the great cathedral. The main gate is shut tight on nights of the hunt and can only be opened from the other side with this emblem. In other words, the captain's return and this emblem determine the end of the hunt. Kirkhammer, a trick weapon typically used by the healing church hunters. On the one side, an easily handed silver sword, on the other, a giant obtuse stone weapon characterized by a blunt strike and an extreme force of impact. Trick hunter weapons forged in the healing church workshop, said to be hidden somewhere in the Grand Cathedral, were made to the tenets of a rival school of craftsmanship. It requires 16 strength and 10 skill to wield. The repeating pistol requires 10 strength, 11 skill and 8 blood tinge to wield. Repeating pistol typically used by the healing church hunters. Crafted with mostly metal parts and exhibiting a complex design, the repeating pistol fires two shots at once, making it a ravenous consumer of quicksilver bullets. Should be used sparingly compared to its workshop counterpart as a trump card in one's arsenal. Our next objective is to face the second boss, so ensure you're fully leveled up with weapons fortified and repaired. He 
is vulnerable to fire and serration, but equipping the tiny music box will make for the most effective strategy. The description reads, a small music box received from a young Yarnum girl plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid, a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out however faintly, Viola and Gascoigne. This grave stands in memory of a hunter I once knew. Though enchanted by the dream, he remained strong and eventually saw the light of dawn. I pray that you found meaning and comfort in the waking world. Farewell, good hunter.